want to get ripped at home without any equipment. Welcome to the ultimate muscle building routine designed for your living room. We're diving into a dynamic series of exercises from push-ups to planks. Ready to dive in? Let's get you stronger, fitter and more empowered than you ever thought possible. Our first exercise is a classic, the push-up. Ah, the push-up, a time-honoured staple in the fitness world and a true testament to one's upper body strength. It's a simple exercise, yet its effects are profound. Engaging the chest, shoulders, triceps and core, it's an all-in-one package for a well-rounded upper body workout. Let's dive into the proper form, shall we? Start by placing your hands shoulder width apart on the floor. Extend your legs behind you, balancing on your toes. Your body should form a straight line from head to heels, like a plank. No sagging in the middle. Now. Now lower your body until your chest almost touches the floor. Keep those elbows tucked in close to your body as you do so. That's right, we're not going for a chicken wing look here. Push your body back up, extending your arms fully, but without locking the elbows. That's one complete push-up, my friends. To reap the full benefits of this exercise, consistency and correct form are key. Yes, we're looking at you, cheap push-ups. Half-hearted attempts won't cut it here. You want to feel the burn in your muscles, not cheat your way through it. But what if a standard push-up feels too challenging, you ask? Fear not. The beauty of push-ups lies in their versatility. You can modify them to suit your fitness level. For beginners, a knee push-up is a great place to start. You perform the exercise in the same way, but instead of balancing on your toes, you rest on your knees. This reduces the weight you're pushing, making the exercise more manageable while still providing a solid workout. Remember, push-ups aren't just about building strength. They also improve your stability and balance as they engage the core muscles. So next time you drop down for a set, remember that you're not just working on your arms and chest, you're also sculpting a strong, stable core. Remember, it's not about speed, it's about control and form. Keep that in mind as we move to the next exercise. Next up, we have squats, an essential lower body exercise. Squats, my dear friends, are the undisputed champions of the workout world. They're like the Hercules of exercises, targeting multiple muscle groups at once, enhancing balance and improving mobility. But what makes them even more heroic is their simplicity. No fancy equipment, no complicated moves, just you, gravity, and a good old fashioned bend at the knees. Let's get into the nitty gritty of performing a proper squat. Start by standing tall, feet shoulder width apart, eyes forward. Imagine there's a chair behind you that you're aiming to sit on. Now bend your knees, push your hips back and lower your body as far as you can. Keep your chest up and your back straight. Don't let your knees buckle inwards. Go as low as you can go, then push back up to the standing position and voila, you've just performed a squat. But why, you might ask, should we bother with squats? Well, squats are a fantastic way to build strength and muscle in your lower body. They work your quadriceps, hamstrings, calves and glutes, not to mention your core. Squats also improve your bone and joint health. Think of them as a one-stop shop for lower body strength and conditioning. But remember, like any exercise, squats are only effective if done correctly. So pay attention to your form. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Don't let your knees go past your toes and always, always keep your back straight. If you're finding it hard to balance, try holding your arms out in front of you. Squats are versatile too. Once you've mastered the standard squat, you can mix it up with variations like jump squats, sumo squats, or even pistol squats. The squat world is your oyster. So there you have it. Squats, a simple, effective, and versatile exercise that packs a serious punch. Remember to start slow, pay attention to your form, and listen to your body. Great work. Now let's keep that energy up as we transition to our next exercise. Now prepare yourself for a full body burner, burpees. It's time to ramp up the intensity with one of the most effective yet often dreaded exercises out there, the burpee. This powerhouse move targets every major muscle group, making it an essential part of any comprehensive workout routine. Here's how to do it. Begin in a standing position, then drop into a squat placing your hands on the ground, swiftly kick your feet back to land in a plank position. Perform a push-up, then spring your feet forward to return to the squat position. Finally, leap into the air with your hands above your head, fully extending your body. That's one rep. The beauty of the burpee is in its simplicity. 
You don't need any fancy equipment or a lot of space, just your body, a bit of grit, and a whole lot of determination. It's a full-on cardio and strength combo that's going to get your heart rate soaring and your muscles working overtime. Now you might be thinking, why would I put myself through this? The answer is simple. Burpees are a total body conditioner. They work your arms, chest, quads, glutes, hamstrings and abs. They're a one-stop shop for building strength and endurance. Plus, they're great for improving your cardiovascular health. Don't be discouraged if you can't do a full burpee right away. It's a challenging exercise, even for seasoned fitness enthusiasts. You can modify the burpee to suit your fitness level. For instance, instead of doing a full push-up, you can drop your knees to the ground or you can skip the jump at the end. The key is to keep moving, keep pushing and keep improving. Remember, every rep counts. Every bead of sweat brings you one step closer to your goal. So let's embrace the burn, let's chase the challenge and let's conquer those burpees. Phew, that was intense, wasn't it? But don't worry, we've got one more exercise to round off our routine. Our final exercise is the plank, a fantastic core strengthener. Now, planks might seem deceptively simple. You just hold a position, right? Well, not quite. Let's dive into the nitty gritty of this effective exercise. So, you start by getting into a push-up position. However, instead of balancing on your hands, you're going to rest your weight on your forearms. Your elbows should be directly beneath your shoulders and your body should form a straight line from your head to your feet. Now you might be tempted to let your hips sag or raise your bum to the sky, but resist. Your body should be as flat as a plank, hence the name. Maintain a neutral neck and spine by looking at a spot on the floor about a foot beyond your hands. Your feet, they should be hip width apart. So what's happening when you're holding this position? Oh, just a little magic called isometric strength building. You see, when you're in a plank, you're engaging multiple muscle groups simultaneously. Your core muscles, including your abs and obliques, are the stars of the show. They're working overtime to stabilize your body, but your arms, shoulders, glutes, and even your legs are also getting in on the action. Planking regularly can lead to improved core stability and strength. This can help with a range of activities, from lifting heavy objects to performing other exercises with better form. Plus, a strong core can help prevent back pain and improve posture. Talk about a win-win. Congratulations. You've just completed your muscle building routine. Look at you, all pumped up and ready to take on the world. You've just proven that you don't need a fancy gym or expensive equipment to get ripped. Your body is the ultimate fitness tool. So let's take a moment to recap what we've been through. We started with push-ups, a classic move that works your chest, shoulders, triceps and core. Then we moved to squats, the king of all exercises to strengthen your legs and glutes. After that, we tackled burpees, a total body exercise that boosts your cardio and strength. And finally, we sealed the deal with planks, a simple but effective way to work your entire core. And remember, these exercises are just the beginning. Consistency is key in any fitness journey. So keep at it day after day, week after week. You'll be amazed at the transformation you'll see in your body and more importantly, in your confidence and overall well-being. Now, if you found our content helpful and you're eager to dive deeper into the world of home workouts, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Not only will you gain exclusive access to more of our top tier fitness content, but you'll also join a community of like-minded fitness enthusiasts, all committed to living their best lives. And don't miss out on our latest updates. Click the notification bell so you're the first to know when we drop a new workout routine. So until next time, keep sweating, keep pushing, and keep surprising yourself with how much you can achieve. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest workout routines. Here's to your fitness journey.